It's my feel-good breakfast show. Armed with goodies, Team Expresso visited the Red Cross Children's War Memorial Hospital to surprise the young patients in celebration of Mandela Day. Graham and Zola kick-started the project by making colourful Play-Doh to brighten the day. So we're making a delicious smelling play-doh. So let's get all right, to it. Let's okay. get cracking. So all, all right. you need is some flour. This is just cake flour. To that we add some salt. This is just regular table salt. And then just to make it smell really delicious and to give it the great color, okay. we use a powdered drink. So we just mix the dry ingredients together. And then to add the, the pliableness to the dough, we add some oil. Okay, this is just regular vegetable oil. So mix that together. Then we take a quarter cup of boiling water to start. All right. Okay, and then you just add enough as you go. So what you want, obviously, is to make your, a play-doh yeah, consistency. You want your nice yeah. consistency. Okay, so all you do now is just knead it okay. until, you know, the, the colour is, is all the same all the way through. And it becomes play-doh, and that's as easy as it is. Look all the cool stuff we've got. What is that? Okay, so we've got some Play-Doh that Graham and I made and also some delicious goodies that Woolworths supplied. I'm sure the kids are going to love it. Zoe and Zola shared munchies from Woolworths and the afternoon is filled with laughter as kids ran through the corridors, evidence that a simple act of kindness really goes a long way. South Africa is a great country with great potential. There's 50 million of us and if each of us do 67 minutes each day for the other, imagine what we can achieve and that's what we're doing here today you know we, we we're caring for other people and that's what Nelson Mandela asked of us you know he set the example and we're following through with the example I think it's quite simple to make every day a Mandela day all you need to do is be kind to people you be friendly you greet them you acknowledge them and I mean we here at the children's hospital today just spending a bit of time with the children and really just putting a smile on their faces through our kindness Mandela often urged African leaders to place the rights of children at the forefront. Nothing less would be enough, he said. We're celebrating 67 minutes for Mandela Day, but tell me what you know about Mandela. Mandela was in Robben Island, a child, and he wrote a book about the long way to freedom. He was a very good man, and he was a great democracy to come to Africa, and he was very thankful for him. He was all my Madiba. Yeah. <laughs> So I hear your daughter actually shares a birthday with Madiba. Yes, he will be turning three years this Saturday. Three years ago on that day, I was actually doing my 67 minutes for Madiba Day, so... Oh, wow. I was giving birth to her. Oh, amazing, amazing. Each year, more and more people are inspired to join the initiative. The Red Cross Hospital encourages society to extend their charitable efforts and improve a child's life. People can see the good work that has been done at the hospital, but then they can also contribute towards the health of the children. They can become a volunteer. They can be a professional volunteer as well as a, as well as a local volunteer that can come and play with the children or whatever skills they may have, they can bring to the hospital. So it don't necessarily have to happen just on Mandela Day. It can happen any time of the year. We should all live the legacy every single day and doing little things. It doesn't necessarily have to be a big gesture, but I mean, even just making an extra sandwich in the morning before you go to work and giving that to somebody who, who's hungry on the streets or actually something as simple as saying hello to a stranger might make their day. The connection that you feel with them and you know, just, just the love really. So that's, that's how you can incorporate into your life every single day. So not something huge, you don't have to give a lot of money if you don't have a lot of money yourself, but giving of yourself is I think more important. It's not how much you give that counts, it's the spirit behind it. With sacrifice and a warm heart, it is possible for one person to make a difference.